Hi guys, Vex here, and welcome to the world of Tamriel. I really enjoyed Mountain Blade Warband, and I felt like bashing some people over the head with a giant melee weapon. And I kind of wanted the hardcore survival mechanics of, say, New Vegas, or Minecraft, where you have to eat and sleep to live. So I've installed some mods to Skyrim to do just that, along with a bunch of other mods that I've had that I enjoy. And I'm still going to do Fallout New Vegas, but I contacted uh, their lawyers, and I'm, I'm asking about the... Uh, trying to get information on the licensed music they have, because as you know, New Vegas and Fallout 3 have uh, in-game radios, and I, I, wanna, I need some information on those. Uh, before I can do an LP of that, because my channel could get into trouble very quickly uh, with those songs playing in the background, and the only other option is just to completely mute the in-game radio, which is uh, would detract heavily, I think, from the aesthetic of New Vegas. So that's on hold while I get uh, those legal questions sorted out about that in-game music. But I really love Skyrim, and let's see, I'm going to start a new character. Got to start a fresh character with all these mods on here. I think I'm going to be a Nord, just because they have good starting stats. And I'm playing with a 360 controller plugged into my uh, PC here. I always thought Nordic women were completely... looked really, really good. Uh, I'm not going to take too much time on my character, on the design here, uh, just because I'm going to spend most of this game in first person. Uh, let's see. There we go. I suppose that's close enough. Short black hair, clean shaven, blue eyes. Meh. That's about as good as we will do, I think. Uh, yeah. Yes. And we will be named Vex Davian. Alright, and now we're going to go into the character creation. Now, I've got a character creation mod. It's pretty cool. Uh, check the video description. I'll take a screenshot of my mod folder or mod list in case you want to go look up every single mod I have. And uh, I'll post that down in the video description if you're curious. Uh, I'm not going to get into what each and every mod does beyond the fact that I've got um, a hunger mod, a sleep mod, cold temperature mod and some armor and or recycling mods where you can like res break down armors into components and remake them. Uh, would you like to choose a class? Yes. Uh, yes, I would. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> All right, so I'm a Nord. Now I've got this advanced, I've got this like a uh, Morrowind style character creation mod where you get to pick uh, what standing stone do I want basically you get to pick all your stuff um, the, uh, I think the lady yeah that's regen that's pretty good the lord is amazing the lord stone is ridiculously good I think I might pick that it's just flat uh, armor and durability um the Apprentice is dangerous. Uh, the Atronach used to be hilarious in Oblivion. I believe it was just no magic regeneration, but you got tons of absorption. Uh, this is just slower regen. Actually, I think this iteration of the Atronach is really, really good. If you're a warrior and you just want uh, spell absorption, just flat 50% spell absorption is very powerful. Uh... I think I still think the Lord is probably the best overall. Uh, the Lover's not bad at the early game if you just want to level up faster. Uh, the Ritual is kind of junk. Uh, the Serpent... Eh. Eh. I mean, that's like a... That makes one fight per day trivial, I guess. That's not terrible. This one's kind of weird. I mean, I guess that might help with some quest or something. Maybe 
Uh, the Steed is another good one just because of the carry weight. And then you've got these, basically, by the end game, you would want to turn these off because there's no point to them. They just help you level up faster. Uh, that one is Tower's Garbage. Yeah, and uh, you can pick none. I'm gonna pick. I'm just gonna go pick the Lord because it's amazing. Okay, I'm gonna pick a custom class, and I get to choose a skill spec. I'm gonna be uh, mostly combat focused. I want to be. I want to have archery as a main thing. Archery, alchemy, and then maybe one of the melee skills, and then armor. Yeah, archery block, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I want. Favorite attribute, I want that to be... Probably stamina might be kind of nice. I believe stamina, if I remember correctly, affects carry weight and uh, your ability to regenerate your stamina, too. Well, I definitely want archery. Because archery is kind of a pain in the butt to level. Uh, I definitely want smithing. Smithing is very powerful. Uh, I definitely want... Uh, conjuration might be good if only to summon bows and arrows. That's actually a great reason to have, have conjuration. Uh, and the summon pets are nice too. Stealth skills. Alchemy. I want alchemy. And I probably won't sneak as well. I've got two skills remaining, and we're gonna probably want to have a one or two hand, one or two hand. Uh, I should probably go one hand, so that way I can use a spell in the offhand. Maybe something like uh, a one hand sword with the summoned bow in the offhand. Something like that. I set my character up that way. Uh, yeah, we'll go with one hand. And then... I do kind of want to pick Conjuration to have summon, uh, summon pets and summon bows. Just in case if I ever run out of, a, run out of my bow and arrow, uh, run out of arrows, I can have, I can just summon a Daedric bow that has infinite arrows. It's kind of cool. Uh, I'm just going to pick the combat kit. Bloop. Archer combat kit. And here we go. Where did it stick me? Where it stuck me somewhere. What the hell? Okay, so the mod, the character creation mod that I have, it, um, let's well, I think it's another mod. Instead of starting you in the story, it starts you as, like, you're just a random guy starting at a random location, and it, it'll pick from, I think, one of, like, a hundred different locations or more around Skyrim to start you. And it seems to have started me at Skyborn Altar. I can't recall. I've never actually gotten that far in Skyrim, and I'd kind of like to beat the game in this LP. <clears throat> I always get really distracted with all the side quests. I'm one of those people that'll just pick a direction and start walking. And it'll be five hours later, and I'll be like, oh, I was supposed to be doing something, right? <sighs> so, uh, as you can see, where's my journal? There's my journal. Uh quests. So, the mod gives this quest here, Rumors of Dragons. Uh, can it really be dragons? Rumors are that Helgen was burned to the ground, but uh, what I won't dare guess until I see for myself, but by what? So basically, this lets you ignore the main quest for as long as you want to. And yeah. Uh, so here's here's part of the Cold Weather Survival mod. It's called Frostfall. Okay. Refresh, memory, cold weather skills. All right, all right, yeah. I don't think it's activated. Uh, it looks like I've spawned next to a dragon altar right off the bat.
Frost, Frost Breath. Apparently, I just managed to... What is... Is that a... Frost creature? I think it is. I think it's a Frost creature. I'm not going to mess with it, though. I'm totally taking that. I'm also taking that. And I'm taking that. Uh, apparently I've found a shrine of Akatosh. Well, I think I got detected, so sneaking isn't going to do... Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I should have stayed sneaking. I should have stayed sneaking. I immediately regret this decision. I immediately regret... Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm going down the mountain. I'm getting away from that thing. I'm level 1. That thing will whoop my butt. I'm 99% certain of it. We are doing some parkour on the rocks. What a way to start off your adventure. <clears throat> so let's pretend that uh, I was mugged by bandits and they uh, stole most of my stuff and left me for dead in the mountains here. And I'm just coming to... Ow, my head! And that, uh, that weird frost creature woke me up. Oh man, we gotta get out of here. I don't know what's going on. Oh god. Ow! Ah! Ow! Ah, my leg. Oh god. Uh, uh. Oh, what is that? I just tried to I just tried to go into vats, by the way. Oh, I can't zoom in. Blech. I'm a new character. I can't zoom in yet. Okay, we'll have to fix that for sure. Ah. Oh, I'm in range of something to possibly detect me, but I'm winning my sneak rolls. What the heck? Do you see that down there? I gotta go see what that is. I'm too curious. Let me try to carefully navigate my way down. What is that? It looks like a patrol. I do have a patrol mod. That's probably it. I just installed it today. There's a battle! Oh, man. They're fighting. Do you see? Just between the trees there. Oh, I don't want to get involved in whatever that mess is. I'm going to stay here and watch from a distance. I'm going to try and sneak forward a little bit and get behind this rock. I have no idea who that might be fighting. It looks like the battle just finished. I think those are Imperial troops. I think Imperial troops just won. Okay, they're heading off. Alright, let's take a look here. I do think I need to go to system. General stats. No. I'm trying to find the uh, configuration. Uh, let me see. Didn't it say I got a book? I thought I had a book it gave me. Or is that a, did it give me a quest? Okay, it must have given me a quest. So here are my skills. Conjuration, alchemy. Archery's 30, one hand is 35. Eh, smithing's not bad either. Yeah. I'll tell you guys what, there might be some dead bodies out there that no longer need the loot that they have on them. Who's that? I don't know. I'm gonna sneak forward through the trees. I'm trying to look for red dots on the HUD up here that would indicate an enemy. Now because of this mod, I've spawned Usually the area where you begin the game is reasonably safe, but as you uh, go further away... Bethesda got flack in Oblivion for the, uh, the over-reliance on scaled enemies, and in Oblivion, you kinda... Uh, you could go anywhere at any time, and the enemies would automatically be scaled to you, so you were never really in much danger. Hello, butterflies. Can I have? Can I have butterflies? I think one of you is used in a health potion, if I remember correctly. Uh, 
Oh, and so it begins, taking every plant that I pass by. Oh my gosh. Oh, I managed to level up off of sneaking. Let's see. I want more stamina. That's going to be carry weight. Let's see. Yeah. I kind of want, um... I want the zoom. I really want that zoom. I'm going to go for go for that first. Oh yeah. Yeah, it looks like this is Stormcloak versus the Empire. It was a battle here. Probably from one of the mods. Uh, I've got, at this point, I think several mods that do uh, Stormcloak Leader, Stormcloak Soldier. How much carry weight do I have? Oh man, I've got 3,000? Why do I have 3,000 carry weight? I don't, I, I don't want to have that much carry weight. Uh, that must be another mod. I'm going to have to get rid of that. But for now, we'll, uh, we'll take everything here. And we'll sort that out next episode. I'm taking all your stuff. Well, I guess that makes up for what the bandits took from me, huh? Unfortunately, it's mostly iron, right? Iron and fur. Yeah, that's not worth hardly anything. 25 gold? Yeah, that's nothing. I'm still going to take it, though. I wonder who this guy is. He doesn't look hostile. Let's go investigate. Hi. I'd stay away if I were you. I'm on my way to a giant camp, and I can't guarantee those beasts won't think you're part of the offering. Keep your distance, and you shouldn't have anything to worry about. The cow, of course. Others do it differently. But I found that an annual offering usually keeps the giants away from our livestock. Some think it's superstition, but I believe it works. I've yet to have a giant kill any of my livestock. It's tradition. We mark the animal as a way to let the giants know we're giving it to them willingly. Sort of a peace offer. Good luck. Thanks. Take care of yourself now. Ah, oh, man. All right. For one, we're not going to last too long out in the uh, wilderness. I'm going to go ahead and stare at the... Oh, I can't stare at this guy yet. Here, yoink. Give me, give me a butterfly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want you. Butterfly, come here. What the heck? Was that a dude on a horse? I could have sworn I just saw a dude on a horse, like, clipping into the tree. Man, Skyrim, you do some weird stuff sometimes. Alright, first goal. We need to get back to civilization. And because of the mods I'm using, I'm going to need to get some food and pay attention to warm clothing, I think. And it might be good to also have some torches. So what's the nearest town to where I've started? Oh, Morthal, to my immediate west. Alright guys, let's see if we can get to Morthal without too much trouble. But as I was saying, Oblivion relied heavily on leveled enemy lists. Now Skyrim does it too. However, Skyrim, I believe, is not afraid to have much higher level enemies out... Uh, in deeper areas of the game beyond where you started. So just because you're a new character doesn't mean you can go wandering around like you could in Oblivion. Uh, Skyrim will kill you with uh, very high level enemies and it doesn't care as much, which I like a lot. I kind of thought it was... Uh, it took a lot of the suspense out of Oblivion knowing that everything was leveled perfectly to you. Oh, hello. What are you guys? Need something? Uh, just some wandering people like myself, Need probably something? on their way to a city. I could actually travel with them if I was worried about my safety, but I believe we're right here at Morthal already. Okay, good. I spawned reasonably close to a town. There ought to be a general store where I can buy food and supplies.
What are you doing in there, man? Get out of the water. Don't you know how cold that would be? I'll have to be mindful of that. What's the Jarl going to do about it? Keep your arrows in their quiver, Archer. We're safe in our own homes. Please, enough already. I have told Igrid of your concerns. Look after you all. Please, go about your business. We have no need for wizards in our midst. Morthal has enough problems as it is. Ah, it's no use. Let's get back to a den. Cool. Keep your wits about you. Morthal's hardly a safe place. Unless it's about the mill. I don't have time to talk. Too much to do. Well, hopefully it's safer than where I used to be. Please don't mind Yorick. He's not bad. Really, he's not. Is there an inn around here? Okay, since we're getting up in time for this episode, I went ahead and uh, fixed all the mod thingies that I needed to be fixed. Uh, the the 3,000 weight, that was like a some sort of carry weight mod that was multiplying my, my carry weight. And I got rid of that because that doesn't fit in with the hardcore survival aspect I'm going for. Uh, so let's see. I've started up uh, Frostfall, which is the... Uh, cold and sleep mod. And, oh no, that's, that's just the cold mod, basically. And then I, I need is the food, water, and sleep mod. And you can see I've got the widget. I had to go get the script extender. I forgot to install that, but I got that installed. So everything's installed. <clears throat> Lost in thought, you reflect back on how much the wilds have taught you about yourself over the last several days. You recall a book you once lost that was full of wisdom about survival in the open country. On a whim, you open your pack and find the Survivor's Guide to Skyrim staring back up at you. Had it always been there, or had thought alone summoned it? You push aside the thought as you thumb through its pages and then carefully place it back, knowing that some things are never truly lost. So, now I've got... Oh boy. Yeah, I know, I'm over-encumbered. Uh, I'm also hungry. If you see on the right side there... Uh, let me look up at the sky so that it's easier to see for you. I've got uh, the red apple icon means I'm very hungry, the yellow water bottle means I'm slightly thirsty, and then the very pale faded out uh, moon and star symbol means I'm not really very sleepy. I get lost sometimes. I'm not sure where I go, but I'm not, I'm not here. Oh. Do you like magic? Oop. Valiant says I'm good at learning. I uh, like learning about magic. Yeah, magic's okay. I haven't really kept up with it because it got too expensive and you always had to build new decks. Uh, but I do have a Black Lotus, so that's cool. Anyway, let's go ahead and get rid of that. Uh, we also have a new... Oh my lord. Uh, new uh, user interface here for Skyrim. Makes it a little more compact. We have lots of stuff here. I kind of This is going to take me a little bit of getting used to, but I guess it's alright. I kind of like it. Uh, miscellaneous all so right and left is column oh I see damage weight value sort by value ah okay let's sort by weight how about that sort by weight are we guys uh, we could sort by name yeah we, let's sort by name oh that's that's nice spaces search order enchanted names equipped stolen enchanted name Okay, let's just sort by name. Keep it simple. And then back is magic. Oh. That's very interesting. And back is... So a completely, completely new inventory interface to work with. Uh, well, let's click... Uh, weather sense. Exposure, zero, wet percent zero air is temperate I think I can actually set that to show up on my user interface let me check here uh, effects interface uh, it is enabled it's totally started yeah Mother and father died years ago Valiant huh that's odd maybe I'm am I supposed to read the book is that what I'm supposed to do uh, let's go read the book. Survivor's Guide. Okay, I think I finally have everything config 
Uh, no, I don't need anything. I think I have everything configured. Uh, on the left is, I think that's temperature. And on the right, we've got the food, the drink, the sleep. Ooh, an inn. Okay, maybe I can sell some of my stuff in here. Hello. Uh, I'm standing right next to fire. I'm literally standing in fire. Okay, but my temperature... I'm not sure... Oh, right, 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 right. Uh, uh, down. Uh, low is good. Okay, for that, low is good. Basically, you want to keep them from uh, filling up. Okay, I remember that now. Alright, let's see if I can Welcome buy some food side. here. If you need anything, I'll be around. Good. All right. There ain't much to offer. But if you want a place dry to spend the night, I'll rent you a room. Yes. Take a look. Alright. Okay, so back, but the back button is uh, switch tab. And then there's what Jonah's got. Okay, I definitely want to sell. Oh, she won't. Oh, that's right. She won't buy. Dang it. She won't buy stuff. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, I could use some food, though. Water skin. Cooked beef. Uh, can we sort on... Drink for the thirsty, food for the hungry. Value? A uh, jug of milk is pretty cheap. Baked potatoes, red apple. All right, so I've got some food. Good. All right then. Unfortunately, I can't. I need to. You know what I need to do is uh, I need to find a smelter and melt down some of that stuff that I found, and then hopefully I can make use that to make myself some starting gear. Uh, there might be a smeltery in this town. Let me look around. Alright, well I found a tanning rack over by the lumber mill and I can use that to uh, break down some of the armor I picked up into leather. Uh, it's not the most efficient, but uh, these leather items are generally not really that useful to me, so... I can either sell them or break them down into crafting components and try some crafting. And hopefully the crafting component... Uh, most important thing here is that hopefully the crafting components are lighter than... Uh, Alright. I can make myself some empty water skins. Oh, that's cool. A bedroll. Small leather tent and a bedroll. Small fur tent and a bedroll. Interesting. This must be some of the survival gear. That's kind of cool. Alright, well, we've definitely got some... Uh, I, want I want this backpack. Look at that. There's different fur backpacks. I, I should probably try to find some wolf pelts and make myself a uh, wolf pelt backpack. So, I've got all the other parts needed. I just need the wolf pelts. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I put on some of the armor I found. Now, is there a smelting furnace around the lumber camp? Maybe. Uh, one of my mods does add a few extra smelting furnaces around the world, because in vanilla Skyrim there's like, I don't know, three? <laughs> they're, really, uh, they're really few and far between. Uh, which doesn't make that much sense, because you would expect most settlements to have have one. Uh, Alright, looks like I'll just have to live with the tanning rack. I don't see one immediately in my vicinity. I stashed some of my armor in a nice little uh, barrel I found, hidden out of the way. NPCs in this game will pick up... Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, buddy! Mud crab chitin. Sweet. 
Uh, NPCs will pick up items you drop on the ground, so you can't really safely store items on the ground. Uh, that's why I tried to find a, uh, a barrel for such a thing. Uh, can I hug the side here and jump? Yeah, okay. Alright, now where did my... Is it this barrel? Ooh, cabbages! I like cabbages. I'll take free food. Uh, where was my... Oh dear. Where was my barrel at? I could have sworn it was right here. No, I lord, did I lose my armor? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, please say I did not lose such a thing. Is it over here? Armor. Ah, uh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. It's this barrel right here. There it is. Look at all that stuff. All right, cool. Uh, I'm going to take the most valuable. Let's sort by value and start stacking up. Oh, wow, that's it. I can't even take... Oh, man, that's so much stuff. Well, I'll just, I'll just leave it. It's okay. Uh, again, let's sort by value and let's drop off some of this... Uh... Like, do I need to tote around an iron dagger? Do I really need to? Worn hide bracers. Clothing? Do I need do I need clothing? There we go. Uh, is there a ten pound item I could take that might be kind of nice to have? Maybe that steel sword? Oh, oh, I'm just at the weight. Awesome. Oh, it looks like that's my starting gear. I'm not going to worry with the rest of the stuff. I can't sell it. There's no smeltery. Uh, I'll just be thankful with what I have and let that be it. I was about to say, if I pick up, like, a piece of fungus and I'm overweight and can't move, I'm gonna laugh, honestly, because that's what Skyrim is known for. Yep, there we go, I'm overweight. Ah, uh, I picked up, I picked up, like, a leaf. I picked up a leaf, guys, and now I can't run. Oh, well. I think the, the most easy way to get rid of, uh, carry weight is eat some cabbages, maybe. Can I run now? There we go. Thanks, cabbages. Alright. Well, I think I need to get to... Uh, Morthal, honestly, seems like kind of a backwater. I think I ought to try to get to a bigger city. And the closest one to me is going to be... Probably Solitude to the north. Now, I can either... Go west up the road here. I downloaded a mod that shows the roads, by the way. I really like that. Uh, I can go west up the roads, or then north through the marshland here. And I'm not sure about that. I think I'll, maybe I ought to stay on the roads. But we'll do that next episode. For now, I'm going to chill out at the end here. Okay, thank you. Thank you. I'm going to chill out at the end, and I'll see you all next episode. Until then, as always... Keep adventuring and don't freeze.